Hi, uh, my name's Kerry Harrop and I'm a researcher over at the Cell Matrix Research Centre and alongside my research I chair what's called the Public Engagement Committee and we're a group of people who all work in research and we organise a lot of schools and public events to try and um, emphasise all of the important research that the Cell Matrix Centre does. And over the past five years we've developed a number of workshops and what's become our kind of flagship event is something called Welcome to the Matrix. And this year it takes a slightly different format. So in previous years we've run the event wholly in the Microsoft building, which is where the Cell Matrix Research Centre is based. But this year, in collaboration with the Manchester Museum, we're running the event partly in our building and partly over here. Now what we've done is we've invited teams of 30 students per day from schools across Greater Manchester to come and be a part of this event. What we're going to do today is I'm not going to give you a boring lecture about science, so we're not going to sit here for very long at all. What we're going to do is we're going to go on a tour off the building and see real scientists in real lab coats, hopefully doing some real work. Yeah, so the students arrive um, at the Michael Smith building where they're introduced to um, members of the Cell Matrix Research Centre who act as mentors for the day. And the students are given lab coats and name badges and then they set off around the building on a tour of the labs, which they absolutely love. So these students have never been in real science labs before or met, as they call it, real scientists doing real work. So they go around with their mentors and meet scientists actually at work in the laboratories. And what we've got set up is different workstations showing everything from protein gels to cell culture to DNA um, extractions and other things that go on. Go on guys. So what I'm going to show you today is the inside of the breast and what it looks like. And when you hold your glass of milk tomorrow morning, you're going to know so much more about where it comes from. There's one there, it's got a blue and a red, and that's a mutation within the DNA. It's very important the states where these neurons are growing, and it's illustrated here. And that's what I'm studying. Um, the cells in your bone make a very hard matrix that surrounds you. Okay, so, so far we've seen Julia and she told us all about breast cancer and how she's trying to do experiments to understand how the breast develops and then when that goes wrong what happens in cancer to hopefully try and get treatments for breast cancer. And then we've just seen Claire who's been telling us all about cartilage and bone and how just a single mutation in, in a protein that's required to make cartilage can cause problems like arthritis and if it happens early in life it can cause things like dwarfism and that sort of stuff. So a lot of Claire's research is trying to understand how that goes wrong and if she can create treatments to help people with those sort of problems. And next we're off to see Teresa, and she, I think she's going to tell us all about mucus, so let's go and find out. After their tour, which lasts about an hour, we reconvene back in the reception of the Michael Smith building, and we set off across campus um, to the Manchester Museum. Now, the Manchester Museum uh, has a secondary learning programme which is run by Alexa Jeans. And together with her, what we've done is booked out the discovery rooms in the Manchester Museum for the students to use for the whole duration of the day, which is a really great learning space for them. So the students are in teams, so we have five teams of six roughly, and each team is given a specific topic around a particular area of matrix research, so be it team DNA, team cells, team matrix, team mucus, team cartilage, you get the general idea. And they have a set of activities around that for which they work. So the students are asked to make models, of various materials and they're also asked to write a song, a poem or a rap, which is usually highly entertaining, about what they've learned about that particular science topic. And here you see the main action. Besides that, the students use laptops to write PowerPoint presentations. And this whole thing culminates in a competition at the end, which is judged by principal investigators from the Cell Matrix Research Centre. And the students obviously really get into it because it's a big competition. And on um, having spoken to the judges, the students then present their work back and the judges decide on the ultimate winning team. So there's a lot of competition between the students and between the mentors usually, which usually um, is a really enjoyable day. Cartilage, cartilage, we love our cartilage. Cartilage is smooth, cartilage is hard. Cartilage helps your joints move when you're in the yard. When cartilage goes wrong, it causes you pain. You get arthritis, which means you can't play the game. Cartilage, cartilage, we love our cartilage. 